Hey, 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 how's everybody doing tonight? Well, I hope fabulous. Um, I'm getting ready to have my son and a friend over for dinner, and we always have salads. I love salads and being Italian, we cook, we have a lot of salads with our meals. So the number one question I get when people who don't like to cook ask me, what is your biggest pet peeve in the kitchen? And I have two. So I thought I'd show you guys one of them. One of them is washing and cleaning the lettuce if you wanna have a salad, like I have to have a salad ready in 20 minutes. So I thought I might as well show you guys how an Italian does it. So you get your knife, your cutting board. Now this has not been cleaned. Now this has, this was from yesterday. It takes a while to get there. So what I do is I take my knife and I slice it down the center of the entire head of lettuce. And this is romaine. Italians very rarely use uh, iceberg lettuce. That's for, I guess, Americans. Um, so you slice it down the middle. And the reason for that is so you don't have like a big old leafy piece of lettuce when you're trying to have a conversation and then you got that big old piece. So that kind of takes that away. Now we go down the, uh, not the length, the width side, and we make, well I make, small little cuts. And when I say small, I'm talking like that's a bite and that's gonna be a perfect bite. So I like to make it kind of small. So you go ahead and you just slice through the entire two heads of lettuce. So I am going to have three heads of lettuce tonight for five people. And it sounds like a lot, and it may be, but an Italian always would rather have too much than not enough. So unlike a lot of uh, other people, other nationalities, shall we say. Um, and so you just slice that up, which is really fun. This is the easy part. This part doesn't bother me at all. What bothers me is the next few steps. And like I said, we're down here, and wouldn't you rather have that than a big old leafy, leafy piece um, that hasn't been cut because the chef doesn't think about doing this ahead of time. So this is really fun. No problems here. I think anybody could get into this. The next step is what stinks. So for those of you who don't know about a salad spinner, I'd highly recommend it. But mine is not only a spinner, but it's also a strainer. So you take, a lot of people like to cheat here and go crazy and put all of that in one little basket, but then I ask you, how do you get it clean when all the dirt is packed in amongst other dirt? So you just give it a nice, good rinse. I like to flip my fingers through because you just never know nowadays, you know, what the heck is out there. Well, actually, we do know what the heck is out there nowadays. So after it's been, uh, I guess called strained, uh, rinsed and strained, now we get to the fun part which is, this is actually fun. I'm gonna have to figure out what part of this I hate. So this is the spinner. So you just spin this up, and I like to do this just to see the reward of all the water coming out. But that's by nowhere, anywhere near done, uh, because it's still quite wet. So then I give it again. Hi, get in, get in the video. Show everybody how pretty we are. This is our kitty, 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 miso. And Spinning away, giving people a lesson on salad <laughs> spinning. She's toward. so cute. Look at her. Hey, she's so pretty. So teaching people the salad spinning technique. What do you mean? You know my pet peeve? I have two pet peeves in the kitchen. You know what the first is? What is it? Probably when other people are in the kitchen. <laughs> no, hard boiled eggs. Look at my um, kitty. Can I show them the next step, Tori, if I may? Next step is, now we've got the salad who's been strained, washed, strained, spun. Now I like to take it out because like I said, we're having a salad in 20 minutes. So I like to spread it out on paper towels so that the ex, Tori, the, the camera people <laughs> need to see. Me so she doesn't need to see this so much. She's probably not gonna be eating too many greens. So I like to spread it out on a nice ta uh, paper towel. So far this is time consuming. We haven't even, we haven't even uh, gotten to the dinner. So now we take another head. That looks like quite a bit. So you might ask yourself, do we want to scrimp and do we want to cheat and do we want to just dump this in and pack it? But no, we don't because this is our family and we love them. So we don't want dirt going back in. So once again, put it in the strainer. Now we're washing this. Step one. Oh, thanks, Tori. What? And remember to do that in front of your TikTok videos. Just walk on by. So now we strained. I think the reason I don't like this is it's time consuming, very time consuming. So 
So now we spin. Oh, you like to spin? And she's like, no. And we love to watch that. Did you just see that? A Whoa. lot of green came out of there. I could be excited. That was dirty. Now we're not done, because we gotta do it again, because we're over at Cheapers. And we'll just look at that. Isn't that neat? So you might think, oh, we're just gonna add it to this. Oh, no, we're not. Another set of paper towels. Good thing paper towels aren't hard to come by. Take it out after it's been washed, strained, spun. Now it goes onto the paper towels. And then we spread that out to get that water, extra water absorbed. Oh, I should show them how to do my pepperoni salad. But that's probably for another day. Unless, hey, what does it hurt? Me so we all have the time, right? Now for the last batch. Could have cheated, but who we cheat? And we just be cheating our family. Well, look at this, nice clean counter, you can do this. The cat is literally watching every move of this. <laughs> she wants to be a cook. She likes Rinse. She's like, Wash. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, baby. That was exciting. I don't typically like to buy my salad already pre-cut, pre-washed, because I just don't think it has a good shelf life. But actually, it doesn't matter. We'll have this all gone by tonight. And then we have to buy another three-pack of romaine lettuce. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Oh, there's the fun. And we'll do it again. Ooh, ooh, she likes the spin. And we'll do it again. And slow that down. Let's see here. Okay, we're looking good, folks. So that, the reason why I don't like it, I've decided, is it takes time. That takes time. Can't just whip that out, so. A smart person does this ahead of time, like I did, but that's not enough to feed five people. Oh, this okay. should be, ooh. Oh. So, while I have you guys here, you may be interested in knowing how I make my pepperoni dressing, it's salad like dressing. Salad. Well, I've got Kathy's with the almonds, or the walnuts. What do you want? I have the dressing made for Kathy's. We're having pizza. I don't know. Pepperoni, it's Italian. Okay, so with that, we need Dijon, Worcestershire, mayonnaise. Why don't we make a drink? Um, I'm on a salad right now, sweet cakes, and garlic. So here's what we're gonna do for this guy. What kind of drink would you like? I would like salad dressing right now. I'm saying I could make a drink. We went through this in about a day, just kidding. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Let me see interesting. We are going to measure. Okay. Yeah, oh, baby. Six tablespoons. One. Two. You're not gonna have six. Three. Four. Five. Six. Well, let's see if we get seven. Just about seven. I'm floating. So we're doubling this because bit. we want extra. That's gone. Seven. I always have back stock, as you know, Tori. Don't double it. Why are you doing it? Shh, 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 don't put it in my head. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's double that. The regular recipe calls for two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. So we go in four. One, I love vinegar. Two, three, four. Look at that. Now, Dijon, a teaspoon. I'm so good, I don't need to. A teaspoon? A teaspoon, so we're gonna do two, one, and even though this is a tablespoon. Mean, what, what do I mean? I don't know. Yeah, why don't you leave the recipe to me since I've done this for a hundred years. And then just a splash of Worcestershire, but I know how much, so don't mind me. About a teaspoon. 
Now, I do know the correct measurement of this, and that is one tablespoon of mayonnaise. So we're going one, and we're going two. Come on now. Okay. And then it calls for quite a bit of garlic, but because we all kiss a lot around here, I don't go for as much, so I would say that is probably half of what it calls for. And I'm not gonna double that part, but you need the garlic because it's not the pepperoni salad dressing. It's pepperoni Caesar salad is what this dressing is called. And so you always gotta get it off of your spoon here because it likes to stick. And then you really give that a good vigorous, vigorous stir. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Tori likes this, Miles loves this, Curtis loves anything I put in front of him, and I love it. So, we'll worry about that later. You really wanna whip that good. Really whip that good. Lots of chunks of that mayonnaise still in there, we gotta get. And then, fresh pepper, about that much. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Might as well show you guys the whole recipe. Why not? All right, now we get out our big heavy duty bowl. Now that our lettuce is perfect, lettuce from yesterday, that's probably enough for three, four people. We don't know if the guest likes lettuce. She better. And I'm gonna say we could go for this head that was a little bit smaller. Oops, there we go. All right, so you put in about, I think this is probably about three heads of romaine in there. pepperoni if you have your own she's really you're liking the tutorial if you have your own like stick or whatever you call those of pepperoni um, cut it up but I don't ever so I'm gonna just open this up I like to spread it out rather than just clumping it in who does that probably a lot of people um, you always make sure your hands are clean which mine are and you go ahead and you spread this and you don't scrimp you're not going to be cheap. You always go for it. Give your guests and your family a lot of pepperoni. Love it. That's more than we need. So we'll push that aside. Always wash your hands. Not that fruit. Lots of pepperoni. All right. Moving along. Now we're going to the fun part which is the Parmesan cheese. Oh yeah. The Parmesan cheese spread vigorously. That's about right. You just want to kind of cover it. Give it a good old coating. And my family doesn't like a ton of croutons. croutons. Oh, she hates croutons. So I don't put as much as the recipe calls for, so that would probably be half of what you'd really use because the dressing absorbs in there, and oh my gosh, is it good. So you keep whipping that dressing, and I like to see a little more color, meaning I think I need a little more of the Worcestershire. Okay. It just has a great little flavor that really makes it mm, yum yum. So, because my guests and my son haven't arrived, we're not going to toss the salad yet. And we will wait. Oh, thank you, Tori. What are we going to drink? Um, we have a celebration that we're going to be celebrating. Would you get the refrigerator for me? And that is your pepperoni Caesar salad from scratch. Okay. Put 
this guy up here, this guy in here, me so, and we're gonna put this guy right here. So now we will wait for our guests. I hope you guys love it. I hope you try it. Share your ideas with me. And I hope that this helps somebody who maybe didn't enjoy the process either, have a little bit of fun and learn how I do it so you can have salad in literally 15 minutes on the table. Have a wonderful night. Manja.